Uh, hello, everyone. I will introduce my paper, EAI Bench, an energy efficiency benchmark for AI training. Oh, first, uh, benchmarking the energy efficiency of AI workloads is essential because the increasing AI model skill uh, has brought about an increase in energy consumption, but uh, existing benchmarks focus on the performance evaluation instead of energy efficiency, and it's too time consuming and power hungry, unacceptable for energy efficiency benchmarking. So how to quickly and accurately benchmark AI training workloads energy efficiency is very important. Uh, in this work, uh, first we present a new methodology to quickly and accurately benchmark the energy efficiency of AI training. And we introduce a new metric called EEDP. EEDP is a product of energy and delay during one epoch of the training. Uh, second, we propose an energy efficiency benchmark for AI training named the EAI Bench. Um, finally, using EAI Bench, we take uh, ResNet as an example to analyze energy efficiency of AI training. Uh, related work, uh, existing AI benchmarks typically focus on performance, uh, such as MRPOF, AI Bench, Down Bench, FASM, TBD, and Deep Bench. Um, there is some work uh, focus on AI energy efficiency, but uh, those work uh, mainly analyze the inference procedure and the like training analysis, uh, such as Yao's and uh, Wang's work. Also, uh, our work proposes EAI benchmark, uh, which is aimed for um, AI a training benchmark of energy efficiency and the wheels a new metric named the EDP. And uh, the uh, methodology of the EAI bench is listed in the figure one. And we can see that uh, it consists of a metric and measurement benchmarks, a configuration space, a monitor tools, and the resource analyzer. And the final task we selected is listed in table two, and the data set we used is listed in table three. Um, to do experiment, we use two uh, GPUs. One is Titan 5, and the other is V100. And we can see that um, the computing power uh, of the two GPUs is similar, but V100 has significant advantage in storage. And uh, we do four experiments. Uh, first, to verify that one epoch is representative of the whole training. We take a rest night as an example to illustrate the stability of epochs uh, for the complete training procedure. And we use coefficient of um, uh, um, variation to evaluate uh, the stability. And uh, we can see that during the training, the accuracy is increasing, while um, the time and the power of each epoch remain stable. And our results show that the COVs of uh, each epoch uh, of time and power is less than 6.5%, which is uh, very stable. Um, so we know that AI training workload always has huge configuration space, but we only select two uh, important uh, parameters, uh, batch size and the number of workers and to explore an extensive range also. Uh, so batch size here we select is from one to 256. Uh, there 256 is, is the max number of data set, uh, set data already fills up GPU and the larger value will cause auto memory error. And uh, the number of workers is from one to 16.4, there is a performance increase, increase first and then decrease. And we can see that 
energy efficiency is less sensitive than throughput and the different uh, model parameters. For throughput, there is a, a 20 times difference between best and worst performance. However, for energy efficiency, there is only a uh, three times difference. Uh, this is because the energy consumption mainly consists of number of flows and memory accesses. However, batch sets and number of workers do not affect flows and only affect memory access by different data rails. Then we compare to GPU. And the speed up of V100 to Titan file is listed in this table. And the biggest value is better. We can see that EDP of V100 is better than Titan file for all seven models. And the EDP is a comprehensive metric that considers power and time at the same time. Finally, uh, to analyze energy efficiency at the layer level, we break down ResNet in two layers. And uh, we can see that uh, the dominant layer of ResNet is um, convolution. And the average power of convolutional layer is also the largest because it's computer bound and the flow is much larger than other, other layers. Uh, in conclusion, this paper presents a new benchmark named the EAI bench and use a new metric called EEDP to quickly and efficiently benchmark uh, the energy efficiency of AI training. Uh, uh, thank you, that's all.